hello everyone welcome to the channel in the past i have shown you in one of the videos that how oracle database is adding generative ai capabilities to simple sql queries not only they have added it into their oltp databases but also in the data warehousing that is why i was pleasantly surprised when i saw that mother duck has also done the same now you can use your ai powered prompts within your sql queries and in this video i am going to show you exactly that if you don't know what mother duck is mother duck is a cloud data warehouse and sql analytics backend for building data apps it is powered by DuckDB, which I already have covered on the channel. DuckDB is a free and open source in process OLAP database developed and maintained by the DuckDB community. So if you're looking for a free version of this mother duck, I would highly suggest that you have a look at DuckDB. A real good stuff is happening in that DuckDB sphere. Mother duck, mother duck is not free. Mother duck is a separate organization which partners with DuckDB Labs, but they have this paid option. But the good thing is that you can get a free 30-day uh, free trial, which I'm using at the moment. I have no affiliation with them, by the way. None so none whatsoever. Uh, I'm just re reviewing this because just I saw that they have this prompt function, which they have added recently. Seems quite interesting. And to top it off, it is free for 30 days. And you don't have to give any credit card you just go in sign up with your free gmail account or whatever free email account you are using you don't even need a business account then you sign up and then you play around with this and it seems quite interesting and that is what i'm going to show you shortly so this mother duck this uses serverless DuckDB in the cloud to store data and execute DuckDB sql you can load the data into mother duck from your personal computer from any url or even cloud storage like AWS S3 or Azure Cloud Storage or Google Cloud Storage and stuff like that. Also, you can save your credentials here in the mother duck. You can share the database with your team if you want to do it at the enterprise level. And there are a lot of other things around integration and stuff, but I'm not going to go into it. So if you want to use it, just click on sign up at the top right. Once you sign up and log in, you will be presented with something like this. So once you sign up, they ask you a few questions around your name and what sort of organization you have and all that stuff. But once you log in, you are presented with this screen, as you can see. Now here, on the left hand side, you see that they have created some pre-built databases like my underscore db and sample underscore data which i will show you shortly and on the right hand side there is a notebook like um, i would say panels where you can write your queries and get your data back one thing i was trying to do is to see if i could change the background to uh, dark mode maybe i think i can do it from here so i'm just going to go into the settings here and then maybe i'll just check the preferences let's see yes so unfortunately i don't see any option of setting it to dark mode because this mode is just very heavy on the ice anyway it doesn't matter so let me show you the prompt thing which i was referring to which the, this is a prompt function which they have added that enables you to run it with large language models so <clears throat> this prompt function is available in preview on mother Duck at the moment this new SQL function simplifies using LLMs and SLMs, which is small language models with text to generate, summarize, and extract structured data without the need of separate infrastructure. For example, you see, here you are. We, I'm just using this prompt with the select query. And then instead of column name, we have just used this prompt function here. This is a prompt, right? Write a prompt, a poem, poem about tux. I'm just going to ask it how many hours how many letter r are present in word strawberry and the model is gpt 40 and this is the thing that at the moment it only supports open ai's gpt4 mini and gpt 40 model to provide the flexibility so gpt 40 for llm and gpt 40 mini for slm so let me run it and for running just click on run here there you go so it says the word strawberry has contained three instances of letter R, which is quite good. 
as usual and then it is giving you some of the current cell response and all that stuff you can copy the column names here and there are a few other things which which is showing you some of the stuff now one thing which i really like about is um, duckdb which i haven't found it any in any other databases this let me actually show you let me maybe i'll just write a query here in front of you so bear with me so instead of this i have just removed it how do i make it disappear this thing okay i'll just click here okay so let me write a query here so i'm just saying uh, i'll just go with select prompt and then in the prompt i'm just going to say maybe i'll remove this by default it is just going to use that model summarize my text and then i'll just type this one and then you can or i'll just paste it here just to save time so this is a query which i have put it in i'll just make it my text where do i where i'm getting this if you go to sample data on the left this is the hn and then in this hn in sample data there is hn and then uh, this is schema hn in this schema there is a hacker news table in this table there is a column called as text so the whole so you can access it like uh, maybe i'll just say from hn dot hacker news and it is already giving you that hacker news okay how do i select it and from there you can simply so this is a schema which we needed uh, the table which we needed and we already have given it the column name here as a text this one and you can see the text here on the left hand side so hopefully once you run it it is going to summarize it let me see if i can just grab one row and there you go so what i have done here is i have just given it this query i have used this used that prompt function and then i'm just limiting the response to one from there schema and table and you see it has given me the summary of that text how good is that so pretty good i would say not bad at all and there are a lot of other things which you can do you can as i already showed you you can talk with llm from here you can use it in sub queries you can just uh, maybe simply go in and do some other magic like you can use your where clause your predicates just like the things which we do in the uh, normal SQL and you can use it in your OLAP queries easily. I will drop the link to it in video description play around with it let me know what do you think and if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel and before I let you go I also wanted to introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are AgentQL. AgentQL is a query language that turns any web page into a data source and with its Python SDK and live debugging tool you can scrape and interact with web content. AgentQL works on any page, it is resilient, it is reusable and it structures the output according to the shape of your query. So that's it guys, let me know what you think about it. If you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. If you are already subscribed, please share it among your network as it helps a lot. Thank you for watching.